to Malawi now where the brother of the former Malawi leader Bengwa Mutarika and 11 other high profile figures stands accused of treason for allegedly trying to prevent Joyce Banda from succeeding him. Former Foreign Minister Peter Mutarika asked the military to take over after his brother's death to stop Mrs. Banda from taking over the presidency as required by the constitution. Peter Mutarika is the Democratic Progressive Party presidential candidate in elections due next year. Joining us now to discuss whether the case is potentially harmful to the stability in Malawi is Tom Chimuya. He is the assistant managing editor on, uh, of the online news site Nayasa Times. Tom, good afternoon and thank you so much for joining us here on Beyond Markets. This news, um, of course, not a surprise to the political elite, many of whom are party to the intrigues that happened in the immediate aftermath of Mutarika's death. Um, how has the news, uh, however, gone down with the average uh, you know, uh, citizen in Malawi. Does this affect the immediate stability, um, you know, in, in Malawi? Uh, Malawians welcome the results of the Commission of Inquiry uh, report on the death of former President Bingu Um When the results came out, there were startling revelations on how the officials concealed the death of the president mm. and subsequent brought to take over government or give it to the military. Now, when the report was released, Malawians were looking forward for action, a due process of the law. And indeed, state operatives cracked down on the suspects who plotted to overthrow the government per se. Mm. Uh, since their reaction, several people were arrested, including opposition leader Peter Mutarika. So, except the supporters of the DPP mm -hmm. uh, reacted angrily and violently. Mm -hmm. But after condemnation from civil society organizations, including the first group NGO PAC, uh, there has been calm. Mm -hmm. Now, you said that there's been calm. Um, particularly after the intervention of quite a large range of, of organizations, including uh, civil society. Uh, what has been the response from President Banda herself, um, given the fact that um, the plan was very much directed at preventing her from uh, taking her rightful place in terms of the constitutional provisions? President Banda herself is a church-going Christian. And um, since she took over power, uh, she said there will be no retribution. And uh, she has handed over the whole matter into state authorities uh, so that the due process of the law should take place. She's not, she has not in involved herself into, uh, uh, into this matter, but the prosecutors are the ones uh, hunting down whosoever uh, was responsible. Mm -hmm. Is there sufficient um, buy-in from Malawian citizens that the courts are equipped and sufficiently independent to deal adequately with the case before them? You come again. Uh, what I was uh, asking is the um, credibility of the Malawian uh, judicial system. Um, is the system um, regarded as independent? Are they seen as an institution that can actually, you know, take this f uh, case forward in a way that's not going to be politically manipulated? Malawi's judiciary is reputably very independent. And um, their opposition, DPP, uh, themselves have acknowledged this when their leaders were given bail by the court. Treason in Malawi is punishable by death, and being a capital punishment, uh, many people perceive it not being a bailable offense, mm -hmm. but the judges uh, actually granted bail to, to the suspects. And when they were granted bail, the, the suspects themselves uh, uh, applauded the judiciary for uh, being independent. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, Peter Mutareka, very central to the, um, the, the case now and a candidate in next year's election. Um, if he should be found guilty, how is it likely to affect the leadership of the party that he leads and also, of course, his chances of participating as a candidate? Would his party have to go and find a new leader? Political commentators um, and analysts have urged the DPP to have a plan B, a fallback plan in case their presidential candidate is 
found guilty by the courts. But the party has reacted uh, adamantly, saying, no, they will go ahead to feud uh, Peter Mutalika if endorsed by the convention, saying um, history has shown that the electorate elects leaders who have got charges. Uh, DPP's director of research, uh, Dr. George Chaponda, a law, uh, 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 lawyer himself, has actually been on record saying in Kenya recently they have elected a president w with charges, ICC charges on his head. So they are comfortable uh, going ahead with a presidential candidate that is indicted.